engineers. Today, future engineers, welcome on our next topic for the integral calculus. So this time we'll be talking about improper insect clouds. So for the, this discussion, we have we'll be discussing two types of improper integrals. We have the improper integrals with the infinite integration limits. That will be our first discussion. And the second type of improper integral is the improper integrals with infinite discontinuities. Okay. Without further ado, let's start our discussion. So what is an improper integral? Okay, so uh, what is an improper integral? So last time, Diba, we discussed that there are two types of integral. We have the, what we call the indefinite integral and the definite integral. So what is the difference between these two types of integral? The indefinite, it has no upper limits, upper and lower limits. And you will get a general solution with an arbitrary constant C. Now, for a definite uh, integral, it has upper and lower limits. And you will get a what? You will get a particular solution. So, wala tay arbitrary constant C for a definite integral because it has an upper and lower limit. Now, in improper integrals, what is which one and under C at improper integrals? Is it in the indefinite or the definite? Improper integrals are actually definite integrals. It has an upper and lower limit. But let's uh, discuss that first. What is a proper integral and an improper integral? So uh, let's say we have a curve, diba. Let's say we have a curve here. And then we were asked to find the area under this curve. So let's say this is point A and point B. And then this one, the formula of the curve is equal to y is equal to a function of x. If you remember, to get the area, that is just the integral of the function of x uh, with respect to x from a to b. So after an enum, uh, if you have the function, you have the formula y or the function of x, and then you have the lower and the upper limit, then finally you will get a particular answer or solution. So this one is a proper integral so what is an improper integral uh, improper integral happens when one of your limit let's say your upper or lower limit what's a man approaches infinity so Again, improper integrals is a definite integral with an upper and lower limit, but either of them, either the upper or lower limit, approaches infinity. Or both the upper and the lower limits approaches infinity. So this is the symbol of our infinity. So natay ko ano, so moto siya, it approaches uh, infinity. So it's either um, uh, the lower limit approaches the negative infinity or the upper limit approaches positive infinity or both the upper and the lower limit approaches infinity. So this is uh, the koan. The first type of improper integrals. That's why we call it the infinite integrate. It has an infinite integration limits. Its limits, either the upper or the lower, approaches infinity, or both the upper and the lower approaches infinity. So this is the first type of improper integrals. Again, 
and proper integral is a definite integral. It has upper and lower limit, but its upper and lower limit approaches infinity. So I'm going to solve the improper integral. So we have here the definitions of improper integrals with infinite integration limit. So again, now this is our first type of improper integral. Its upper or lower or both the upper and lower limit approaches infinity. So our first type of the infinite integration limits, its upper limit, if manotis ninyo, upper limit niya is positive infinity. So we have here the first definition. If the function f is continuous on the interval a to b, then the integral of function of x with respect to x or f of x dx from a to to up to to this one to the to positive infinity is just equal to what that is equal to the limit of the function of x dx from a to b as b approaches positive infinity positive infinity that is the first condition upper limit approaches Positive infinity. Second na definition. Same if the function is continuous on this interval uh, from the negative infinity to b, and then the integral of f of x dx uh, from negative infinity to b. So uh, the second one at the lower limit is the it approaches negative infinity. So this one, this integral is just equal to the limit of the integral of f of x dx from a to b as a approaches negative infinity. Number three po, uh, our third type of the improper integral, ang, uh, infinite integration, which has infinite integration limits, it's both, both the upper and lower limit is approaching infinity. So this is just equal to f of x dx uh, from negative infinity to c plus the integral of f of x dx from c to positive infinity. So, what we're going to do is that uh, we will have a point c na kuan ka ng dili, ka ng sayo na siya pagtunga sa duha and then ato siyang i-divide we will have the integral now, first, first one we'll have the, we need to evaluate the function f of x from negative infinity to a specific point. And the second one, we need to evaluate as the same function f of x dx from the set point, the tongi set, to positive infinity. So that is the improper integral. So the first one. Let's say, uh, so even the uh, upper limit is approaching infinity. So let's say we have our point A here, and point B is approaching positive infinity. Come on, Asha. The second one. See, we have a curve. We have a limit, a fixed upper limit, but on the left side, the lower limit approaches a negative infinity. And for the third one, both the upper and lower limit is approaching negative and positive infinity. Okay. So let's start with our first example. So I will na to shama. Sometimes. So our first example we have here, uh, evaluate integral dx over x uh, with our lower limit 1 and upper limit yeah, to infinity. So which type uh, uh, of improper integral is this one? Ito sa infinite uh, integration limits. This is our first type. F is continuous but upper limit approaches positive infinity. So say buha to na to ani? I will just rewrite this one. So we know that uh, the integral of dx over x from 1 to positive infinity is just equal to the limit of 
the limit of what? Of dx over x from uh, 1 to b as b approaches positive infinity. Now, x will say, what na to ani? What we're going to do with this one is, ang kanisyang aside first, ito ang a integrate. So, of course, dali na niya. This is the, ds over x is just the natural logarithm of x. That is equal to ln x. And to be evaluated from 1 to b. So that, but that is a limit as b approaches positive infinity. So we will have the limit of ln b minus the natural logarithm of 1 as b approaches positive infinity. Now, the natural logarithm of positive 1 is just equal to 0. Nabili na to is just the limit of the natural logarithm of b as b approaches positive infinity. So next, what's my atom button? Ani? We try to put uh, a number, no? Let's say b as a very dako kaayo nga value. Let's say v is equal to 999,999,999. What will happen to the limit? At any value of v, the natural logarithm of b also increases. There is no specific value. There is no fixed solution. There is no one solution with this one. At any value of v, moment ang pasabot sa b as b approaches positive infinity. So any value of b, the natural logarithm of b also increases. Therefore, the integral of dx over x from 1 to positive infinity is just equal to a positive infinity. Okay, b approaches infinity, man. So at any value of b, the function also increases. No, there is no fixed solution. Ln ln5, the natural logarithm of 200, natural logarithm of 1000, the value is not fixed. Therefore, our solution is that it has an infinite uh, limit. Now, unsa may metabo if ato solution is infinite? What uh, the improper integral diverges. Since there is no limit, what may limit? Since there is no limit, wala si specific na limit like the, uh, like uh, sa tong na solve in the improper in, uh, in the proper integrals. So this one, the improper integral is uh, what we call diverges. So the proper integral is diverging. Diverging. Now, for our next example. We have an integral of e to the negative x dx from 0 to positive infinity. So again, this is uh, similar to our first example. I just reiterate that as the limit of e to the negative x dx from 0 to b as b approaches positive infinity. Now for this one, if we let our u is equal to negative x, then our d will become negative dx. So we can rewrite this one as the limit of the negative integral of e to the u, du, from 0 to b, as b approaches positive infinity. Now, the integral of e to the u, du, is just simply the limit of negative e to the u to be evaluated from 0 to b, as b approaches positive infinity. And now, we just substitute the value of u again that will become the limit of negative e to the negative x evaluated from e to uh, from 0 to b as b approaches uh, positive infinity where that is equal to the limit of Negative e to the negative b plus e to the zero. 
Anong na yung plus? Because a negative of a negative is a positive. And any number raised to zero, that becomes one. As B approaches positive infinity. So this becomes the limit of negative E to the negative B plus one. As B approaches positive infinity. Now, uh, we need to evaluate this part. Can you I be as B approaches positive infinity? Now, what will happen if we substitute a large value sa to ang B dili? So, that is a negative E to the negative B. So, if uh, if you remember, no, the exponential function, the exponent, if we have a negative exponent here, negative B, that is equal to negative 1 over E to the B. So, as if you, you put a large or a big value in the exponent b for our exponential, it means that the denominator will also increase. If the, the value of the denominator increases, decimal point is 0 0.0000 until something. So, therefore, an infinite, as b approaches infinity, this uh this value here this function here is approaching zero so therefore we are only left with one and then we will have a, we already have an answer so the in, integral of e raised to negative x dx from zero to positive infinity is just equal to one now since we have a fixed particular answer for our solution with this one then we can see that this one has a limit. And therefore, the improper integral converges. So in our, in our earlier uh, sample, uh, there is no limit existing because the answer is a positive infinity so that is any value there is no fixed solution for a fixed number if or a fixed value but for this one there is a fixed solution there is a particular solution or a fixed value therefore a limit exists and therefore the improper integral can reverges so the, this one here this is the graph of our integral na e, negative e to the negative x this is the function here and the area here is equal to 1. Okay, for our uh, next problem, this is the part 2 of the second problem. We have to find the integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx from 0 to positive infinity. Again, this is a case 1 for the infinite integration limits. So we just write this uh, as the limit of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. From a zero to positive, uh, sorry, from zero to b, as b approaches positive infinity. So again, first we have to solve is we find the integral of this one, and we know that the integral of that one is just the arc tangent x. So that becomes the limit. Of arc tangent x to be evaluated from 0 to b as b approaches positive infinity. So, so we then we will have the limit of arc tangent b minus arc tangent 0 as b approaches positive infinity. So arc tangent 0 automatically that becomes a 0. How about for our arc tangent v? At any value sub b, as b approaches positive infinity, at any uh, at, at, at that large uh, value of our b here, that becomes the answer will just become pi over two. So at at larger values of b here the integral or the limit of the arc tangent b as b approaches to positive infinity is just equal to pi over 2 
or approximately 1.570796 this is in radians Since we have a particular solution for this uh, integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx from 0 to positive infinity, therefore, the function has a limit and therefore converges. So the, the graph here is the graph of 1 over x squared plus 1 and the area of the unbounded region is this one, pi over 2.